The name Marvin Harrison still in my world uh, kind of shakes me up a little bit considering the fact that Marvin Harrison was such a great player for my favorite team's rival, the Indianapolis Colts. Well, maybe Junior can end up being a Houston Texas at some point. Well, he's going to be an NFL player. There's no question about it. 6'4", 215, A.J. Green-like skills, but I think a more complete receiver at Ohio State. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. is the absolute truth. He's number two in the Harris 100 behind Caleb Williams uh, in front of everybody else. And he, he, I think, is the best receiver that I have rated. Just off the top of my head, I can only think of Jamar Chase being in that class. And I think Harrison Jr. is, is even that much better. Why? Well, let's just talk about physical gifts. This is a great play to look at here with uh, Michigan State. You're going to see him out wide. He's going to be isolated right here uh, on the corner. And when I cut this piece, I cut this piece and I, I labeled it Marvin Harrison Jr. Screw the route, moss him. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here. I, I think Marvin Harrison Jr. is actually a very, very good route runner. He's crisp. Uh, I like the way he gets in and out of his cuts, especially the guy his size I think he runs his routes. He has a very innate feel for openings and zones, uh, moving with his quarterback as we saw in the playoff game. But this one is just pure athletic ability in going up and getting a football. So you'll see here, he, as he gets off the line of scrimmage, you're going to see him dart out, go in, and then come back. Well, he kind of sold the DB so hard outside first that when he goes back, he's – well, the DB is actually in great position. So there's that move right there. He's like, oh, man, uh oh, what do I do now? So he actually is kind of a victim of his own rut running circumstance here. So when he goes back this way, he realizes, oh, well, all right, well, let's just go for the ride and see what happens. And this is where Marvin Harrison Jr. is just great because that guy's even with him. But at 6'4", 215, and tremendous ball skills, he's just going to go up with his ball right off the top of the head, right off the top of the head of the Michigan State defensive back. So his route didn't win, and he knew that. But he never gave up on it because he knew if this ball's in the air, it's an 80-20 ball. It's an 85-15 ball. I'm going to get this throw right now. I'll moss this guy. It doesn't matter that I didn't win with the route. I'm going to win with my ball skills and athleticism. And he's going to do that when he comes to the NFL. There's no question about it. He fights for the ball, gets a touchdown, gets a DPI in the process. I mean, this is just absolutely incredible. I mean, watch this. All the way from the beginning. Let's watch it full right here. And you can see just how magical this actually is. Touchdown, Marvin Harrison. Now, one thing I always admired of guys like DeAndre Hopkins, um, players of, of that ilk was the fact that they could go inside at any point. Now, there are some receivers, the Traylon Burks's, Justin Jefferson's of the world, that spent their entire college, college career playing in the slot. Then they came to the league, and then they moved around. They learned every spot. Marvin Harrison Jr. is kind of that same way in the fact that he's doing this in college, what those guys did in the NFL. He's played outside, and he plays outside for the most part. But this is a great example right here of him in the slot and getting matched up on what's not a corner. But what I love about this particular play, about Marvin Harrison Jr., is the fact that now he shows you the route running. We showed you how he mossed that Michigan State defensive back earlier. And the, the route actually is good, but because he, you know, kind of basically faked the defensive back out so badly, he worked back into the defensive back. When you're 6'4", 215, a lot of times you fade on your routes. You're not linear. You're kind of rounding things off when they need to be 90-degree angles. You don't cut and come out of your cut as quickly as you know a lot of guys that are smaller than you. Well, Marvin Harrison does that and then some here. You're going to see him on this route. He's going to drive up on the DB, get him to back off, and then hard across. He's going to run hard in. C.J. Stroud's going to hit him with that ball around the hash mark, and then you're going to see 18 turn up and become a running back and be a really darn good one. So let's get through this. 
CJ's going to take the snap, and he's going to Marvin the entire time. So watch him. He's the number two wide receiver right here. And he's going to drive up, drive up, a little shake, and then look at how linear this route is. He gets, he plants his left foot at the 20, right at the yardstick, and then he's coming straight across. I mean, there's a little fade here, but not bad. For a guy that size to run that route and then snatch the ball, doesn't let the ball get into his body, snatch, and now watch him turn into a runner. He's going to turn up the field, boom. I mean, this is pretty good stuff. Let's watch it from the beginning here. Watch this. Marvin, catch it, go. Great route, excellent run after the catch. That's the kind of thing you want to see from a full, complete wide receiver like Marvin Harrison Jr. The receivers are asked to do a lot of different things. But at 6'4", 215 pounds, Marvin Harrison Jr. has to do one thing with regularity. And that is beat, press, man. And he gives an absolute master clinic down here at the bottom, how to beat this. This is Kalen King, one of my top 32 prospects in the Harris 100. And Kalen King's going to try and get a jam on Harrison right off the snap here. But you're going to see Harrison do a tremendous job, first of all, with the feet, quick feet on the release. But then watch his hands. He's going to take his right hand and he's going to put it on King's left hand. So he's going to push down the hand right there. See how he pushes that hand down? So by pushing that hand down, he's going to get his shoulder down as well. And then he's going to take that left arm and swim over to the back of King. So he's going to get his hands down and he's going to get his shoulder turned. If he gets just any movement with that front shoulder, then he can get on top of him and stack him as he goes down the field. And that's exactly what he's able to do. So you can see him then. You see King kind of at this point is just trying to hang off for dear life. But Harrison Jr.'s already got him beat. Hands there, there. Right hand, left hand. Right hand, left hand. And now he's by him, and now he's going to stack him. CJ's going to go deep. And now you can see, look at the separation. And he's gotten that separation because he won at the line of scrimmage. To beat press man this easily against a really good corner, this is pretty darn special right here from Marvin Harrison Jr. Just watch it in full motion and watch how he beats that corner with those hands. Good hand work. Brian Hartline teaching him well. And he goes and makes the catch down the field. That is exquisite receiver skill.